Okay guys, coming into my arcade room. Here it is guys, pouring my arcade, which I have so far. Okay, right now I just have four games. I got arcade rug down there. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Okay, I'll start with my first machine here. And it is Pac-Man. This is the first one I got. If you're in arcades, you gotta have a Pac-Man, right? I think everybody should have a Pac-Man in their arcade room. If you're into Pac-Man, I was. I remember being at Pizza Hut, playing Pac-Man, waiting for my pizza. But this is a nice cab too because it has quite a few games on it. As you can see, of course it has Pac-Man, has Pac and Pal, Super Pac-Man. Pac Mania, Pac Land, Pac Man Plus, Galica, which is one of my favorite games, Galaxian, which was, I remember playing that with my dad. We both really liked that. At Hills, I think it was Hills, it was called. The department store was called Hills, it was like a Kmart, Walmart. You got Mappy, Rompers, Dig Dug 2, and Dig Dug, which is one of my favorite games too. So, has quite a few games. What, 12 games on it? That's another reason why I got it, because it had so many games. And it was great because I had Dig Dug, Galka, and of course Pac-Man. That's the real reason why I got this machine, is because it did have those three games on it. So that's the reason why I got Pac-Man. I got a, a good deal, I got an arcade. I think I got an arcade one up, or did I get it somewhere else? Can't remember, but I got a really good price. I got it for $299.99, I do believe. It was out for quite a while. It is the Legacy Edition. It was out for a while. And of course, this heat molding I have on there, it did not come with the machine. Get out of the backlight. I added that. That's tape that responds to black light. So I thought it looked really cool with the, with that tape on it. So if you pull back, go as far as I can. So there's a whole machine there all lit up with the black light. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then my second machine I got was this Mr. Do. And this was this arcade one up as well. This was a Street Fighters 2 cabinet that I converted into a Mr. Do. So I gutted it out basically. Took the old board out that came with the arcade one up Street Fighter 2. Took that board out and put it in a Raspberry Pi. And I have an amplifier on this too for sound. You can't really see get my light my camera here. But I could turn on my overhead light. And you can see I painted the, the panels green. I put the decal on there, Mr. Dude decal on there, and then painted the riser, of course, green. And then there was a put that decal on the front riser. It's a little small, but it looks okay down there. I have not put a coin door on it yet, and then there's the other decal. You really can't see it. But you can definitely see it over there. And I got those decals on Etsy. It's, and it really didn't cost me a whole lot. I got this machine for $300. The Raspberry Pi was cheap. The amplifier was cheap. And these decals, I got two of them for, I think, 25 bucks a piece. That one down there was like 10 bucks. And the only thing I have to do is put a coin door on that one. And I got to put a coin door on Pac-Man, too. I have not gotten around to doing those. Um, but same monitor The other reason why I wanted the uh, Street Fighter is because the monitor was not long ways. It was you know Flipped onto its side So Pac-Man all right, that's because that's the way mr. Dew came in the arcades it was a 4-3 and of course I got the Marquee Looks pretty good and then I got this art on here as well. It really didn't I don't think, well, I think some, some of Mr. Dews later on had this control panel design. And then this one here, believe it or not, I thought this was going to fit on the riser. Look how little that thing is. I think it cost me five bucks. And the only thing I got to do on this is I got to get a bezel. You can't see. I don't have a bezel on it. It's just wood. Can't really quite tell, but that's just wood. I, I got to get a bezel for you. You can see down there. It's just wood. I did get a see-through glass 
or plexiglass. Somebody was selling that on Etsy, so I got rid of the Street Fighters 2 bezel. It's just a clear bezel right now. So that was my second machine. I re like I said, I basically made it, painted it. It had T-Moning actually came with it. That's why another reason why I did Street Fighters 2 because it had a yellow T-Moning on it. And this is the only one I know that actually has T-Moning. This is a true T-Moning on this cabinet. It's the only one I know that they've done so far with T-Moning. Anybody knows another one they did a T -moaning, real T-Moning with, let me know. Because this is the only one I know that they did. So that's another reason why I got this. <coughs> because of the T-Moning. Then my third machine, of course, was Tron. I think this is the best cabinet RK One Up has come out with so far. It is Tron? It looks so good. You know, they even did the black light inside. There's a black light it responds really well with the black lighting. It even has the black light up there. And they I did add this as well because this is, if you didn't know, the old cabinets. This round thing, this tube. This is where the black light tube went so they didn't put it down here they put it up here but they did add where you can change the, this color where in the hell is the button and as you can see you can change the color so it's kind of cool that they did still have the same effect like the tube was so I thought that was a really nice touch that they did as you guys know arcade one up doesn't do nice touches very often but they did on this one and there's the other side. You can see it's really responsive to the little black light. And as you can see, I got a hole where my spinner is supposed to go. I'm in the process of getting a new spinner. My old one broke. I wasn't even playing the thing. The spinner broke with my, without me playing it. I was going to play one day, turn it on. The spinner wasn't working. So, rip my dreams. I guess a lot of people have had that problem with the spinner. So, I ordered a new spinner. It's supposed to come, I think, sometime this week. And then, no, oh, yeah, I think next week or the week after, and then there's a bracket I got to get, which I got a company to do a 3D printer bracket for me. So that's supposed to come by February 8th, which is just two less than two weeks, really. So I should have the spinner on within two to three weeks. But yeah, I, I pre-ordered this cab when it came out because I was afraid that they would sell out, which they didn't. Ripped my dreams. I could have got a little bit cheaper. I did get $50 off, though. And this is not the original marquee. I got this one from that Sable, whatever. Freaking took me six months to get this marquee and Mr. Doom marquee. So I was kind of pissed off it took so long to get these marquees from that Sables. So I'm not sure. And you know, the problem with that, I didn't even mind waiting six months, but they kept telling me every time I emailed them, like, oh, we're going to do that later this week. They, did, they said that three times to me and it took six months. If they would just told me off the bat, hey, we're changing our marquees around. We're going to do a different design. It's going to maybe be, you know, five to six months. I would have been okay with that. But they kept bullshitting me around and telling me, oh, it's going to come next week, come next week. And then it didn't come until six months later. So it kind of pissed me off. It's just tell, tell me the truth. That's good customer service is tell the truth. I don't care if it could take six months. And then my last is my Dragon's Lair with the little goofy marquee I still hate. So there it is. I just, just, I just got this. What? Uh, they came out in June last year, 2022. And I, I pre-ordered this one as well because I was afraid that would, this one here would sell out as well, but it didn't. But I did get $50 off on this one as well because they were doing a little promotion thing there to get people to buy them. And then there's a cabinet. And then this riser did not come with... This Dragon's Lair, I actually got this off of Etsy or eBay. I think it was eBay. So, it's a 16-inch... 16-inch riser, I do believe, because as you see, pan back here, you see Dragon's Lair is actually a little bit bigger than Tron, even. And then it towers over Pac-Man and Mr. Do. Pac-Man and Mr. Do is your normal, typical arcade one-up sizes. Tron, they made that size. They used a bigger riser on here. That's why I don't understand why they don't use this riser. They have it in their system so why don't why don't you always use the 16 inch riser and pan back a little bit you can see how big it is paired to pac-man it's like why don't you just go to the 16 inch riser get rid of the the old riser stay with 16 makes them all taller so like i said nothing custom on tron and look how tall it stands beside pac-man and mr do i mean and then i had to do a bigger riser for 
Dragon's Lair because they want to do it. It's like, D just use a 16-inch riser, man. Stop these little ones. Of course, I got my stool. Only stool I got came with Tron. Then there's my rug again. And then, of course, guys, I cleaned this area off. So I got my little uh, droid here I got from Disney, Droid Depot. That is where my Star Wars is going to go. So I think I have enough room here. Well, I definitely have enough room. As you can see, there's enough room there. But I'm hoping there's enough room, because I can't get another one besides Star Wars, right? So I'm hoping they able... Depends how big dry, or Star Wars is. I think it should be about the same size as all these ones. I should be able to put all these machines apart a little bit further so you can see the side art better. Because you see they're pretty pretty close together. Hopefully I'll be able to move them around a little bit so you can, I can see the side art. Because I love the Tron side art, which you can't really see very well. I think even if I turn the light on, you can be able to see it. Yeah, you can see a little bit. There you go. There's a side art for Tron. So. Can you see Mr. Dooning better? Yeah, a little bit. So there you go, guys. There's my arcade room so far. I've got four machines. Fifth one's on its way. Should be here in, I think, two weeks. Two weeks from tomorrow. Something like that. So there it is. I'm pretty happy so far. Oh, and I did get a riser for Star Wars, too. I got. I think I got a six-inch. Because you can't get rid of the riser on Star Wars because... Of, the graphics on the side art goes from the top all the way through the riser, which is really nice. Hopefully, it'll going forward, Arcade One Up will put the same art on the riser as they do the side art. Because it's going to look like a one piece, I bet. So, there it is. Here's my machines. Oh, I did want to show you my. Here's some of my black light posters I have. That one came out. That one's really nice. This comes from. Panda Gallery, I think they're called. Looks really cool under the black light. It's actually made out of acrylic. And then I got, well, you can't see, I got a move. Got my Empire Strikes Back with Yoda on there. Black light lit. Looks really nice too. I just got to move it because you really can't see it with the Dragon's Lair. So, you saw my game room light, which I got to move that as well. And then I got a Dinosaur head. That's lights up too. It's really not lit up right now, even though it looks like it's lit up. So that's some of my side art. And then I got my lightsabers. If you want to check out my lightsaber, I did videos on all these. I got my two Savi lightsabers. This one here I actually built. I bought that one. And then the other ones are Legacies. I got Darth Vader. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I actually got Count Dooku too, but it's in a box still. And then on my Dragon's Lair. If you want to know what I've got these set on, I actually got my... I didn't use a riser for dra for Dragon's Lair. So I use it to put on top of my machine so I can stick Dragon's some of this stuff up. And that's a Qbert machine from New Wave. This here, you actually can play on the little machine. I don't know if you can see controls or not. Or you can plug it into a monitor or TV and play it on the big screen. So if you don't know anything about New Wave, man, go check them out. I did do a video on this Qbert. Food fight cabinet coming from New Wave as well. That's supposed to be coming next couple weeks. So I'll have two New Wave cabinets. I'll do a review on that food fight cabinet when it comes out. And meanwhile, you can go check out my Qbert review. They're pretty cool. They're pretty neat. They're collector items. There's Grugu. Grugu. And uh, that's that's about it, guys. That is my arcade. Lit up with my black light. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please smash that like button to help the video out. If you're new or haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on. And I thank you in advance. And until next time, I will see ya.